Imagine yourself being a farmer. Stay with me for a second. You're a farmer. That's right. Somebody that has a crop of fields who nurtures the crops and watches them grow. Now, as a real estate agent, we do this almost on a daily basis. It just so happens that sometimes you don't know that you're actually doing it. Now, I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about focusing on the really good crops, the ones that really grow into that voluptuous uh, fruit or vegetable. And for some of you guys that are kind of like, what? <laughs> What's he talking about? I'm talking about the client that turns into a big fan of yours. Someone who eventually becomes the customer or the client that sends you business over and over again. Guys, I'm Jose Mejia. I wanted to do this video because I've been reading this book. It's called The Pumpkin Plan. And it really kind of zones in on focusing on the seeds and the big pumpkins and making that the priority of your business to double or even triple your business. You see, what all happens is that a lot of times we have this large database. We got folks in there that um, don't want anything to do with us. They've told us, stop calling me. We have the folks that are pretty much non-existent. And then we have the people in there that are considered really good prospects, right? And sometimes you could even say great prospects. And so what happens is that we spend so much time and energy and even money trying to revive some of the non-existent clients and also trying to even revive sometimes the people that tell us not to even call them anymore or because they have a real estate agent. What if you can spend a majority of your time and your focus of actually nourishing the people that have shown interest and that have shown to be your biggest fans? Imagine how much money you would save and how much time you would save in just putting your focus into those people. And see, that's what the pumpkin plan is about. It's about focusing on the big pumpkins, the people that are your biggest fans. And you could even say that they share the same values as you. It's those people that when they call you and you see their phone number on your caller ID, you're like, oh man, I gotta answer this, right? So think about your values, think about what your expectations are. And if you don't know, write them down, right? Focus on the people that you just enjoy doing business with. Maybe it's because they've sent you referrals time and time again, and they put money in your pocket. They have some kind of identification with you when it comes to your personality that gets you excited to want to answer that phone. You see, that's where your resources need to go to. They need to go to those folks. I can tell you that I spent some time last year, you know, I'm a kind of a, a tech geek when it comes to systems and automations, and I still do this stuff. But I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to revive bad crops or non-existent crops. I spent so much time in there that I neglected my really good crops. I didn't spend as much time nourishing that just because I knew it was already there. And what happens is that I actually had a decrease in my business because I was spending my time in the wrong places. But as soon as I clean up the mess and I removed a lot of the technology that I felt like I didn't need, and I started spending a lot of time on the what I call A grade type of clients, whether they're past clients or current clients. And I started putting my time and energy and my, you know, my patience to listen to them and be resourceful to those people. I started seeing my business become much more profitable. And that's what it's all about, right? It's about becoming profitable. It's about spending your time and energy, reducing your expenses and receiving the revenue 
on the type of pumpkins and the type of seeds and the type of crops that you know are good for your business and they actually identify with who you are as a person and as a business person. So I wanna challenge you guys today to take a look at your business. And if you're just starting, start figuring out who is the type of audience that you wanna do business with. Because you're gonna have much more of a profitable business and an enjoyable business handling those people. Don't go after luxurious clients if that's not you. If it is you, by all means, go for it. If you're not a flashy person, they don't do business with flashy people, right? So think about it. Think about where you're spending your time, figure out exactly where your end you should be and what makes you happy inside because when you're handling those same type of people that share the same values with you, you'll see your business prosper. Have a good one, guys.